Hey guys, it's Christina. Welcome back to The Daily Brew. So today I'm going to show you guys some of my favorite classy, elegant, in my opinion, just like feminine and sophisticated fragrances. So obviously I don't have a lot of makeup on. I'm actually going to be doing, I don't know if I'm going to film this. I might film this. So this might be a video later. Um, I'm going to do this home eyebrow tint. <laughs> why I don't have a ton of makeup on. I'm also pretty chill. Today we're drinking a black tea from Starbucks. I go from least classy to most classy. Not that any of these are not classy. I think they're just for different types of women. And the choices here, I have 11 by the way, I think would suit different people. So I'm going to leave time stamps below and I'll also put the name of the fragrance on the screen as well as the notes as I always use to give you guys a better guide. So to me, number 11 is this one by Lalique. I actually just got this one. This is Lalique Satine. So this is actually a very, very affordable fragrance. I think you can get this for around $20, $30 US dollars. And it's just a really pretty clean floral. It gives me Chanel vibes. And uh, by the way, um, just a given, pretty much I feel like almost all of the Chanel fragrances are classy, so I'm not mentioning any Chanel fragrances in this video because I feel like every time I watch a classy sophisticated perfume video it's like half Chanel and my favorite Chanel by the way is Coco Mademoiselle and Tom's um just getting that out of the way so yeah Satin is a really good like clean floral with a little bit of a like woody depth to it it's not sweet at all um it just smells like a beautiful light clean classy fragrance. I think this would be really good for a girl um, who works in an office, classy, but also like to hit the gym, um, who wants to give off a classy vibe. This is a very good, clean gym fragrance. It's not too overpowering. This is something that's very safe. If you don't know what perfume to get, but you don't you just want to get a perfume, you want some people to take you seriously, you want something that's not too sweet or too cloying or too playful or too sexy for your job, I think this is a really, really good option. Um, it is very crowd pleasing, which is why I have it as my number 11. It's not closer to the top, but for me, it is still a really beautiful, classy, elegant fragrance. That's Robin back there, my dog. She hangs out <laughs> I film my videos, like in all my videos. Okay, so the next fragrance that I have is one that I think is perfect for the younger girls. So I think um, anyone can wear any, any age can wear any fragrance. I don't think that fragrance has an age, but just because of the vibes of this fragrance, I see like a young woman, maybe college age, 25-ish, um, wearing this fragrance. It's very classy, it's very clean. This is Amber Crombie and Fitch, um, perfume number one, Undone. So this has citrus and vanilla. Um, it's actually supposed to be a three note perfume, but for me, it smells way more complex. And typically, oh, it's so nice, so nice. So it's like on opening, crisp and clean, just a little bit sweet. And on dry down, you just get this beautiful, like very classy vanilla. Some of those vanillas can be too deep and too gourmet where you smell yummy. And to me, smelling yummy is great. But when I'm trying to smell classy, I don't want to smell edible, you know? And so this is perfect, really um, youthful and a little bit playful. Um, I imagine a girl in just a really nice pair of Levi's and then just a white t-shirt wearing this with just really classy makeup. This is just classy vibes to me, very classy vibes, um, especially for my younger crowd who watches my videos. All right, so the next one is one that I think is, it's a new discovery for me, and I think it's, like the classiest celebrity fragrance I think I've ever smelled ever. Um, it's also a really good deal because you can find this fragrance for under $25. She does it every time. She likes to get the blankets into like a big like circle and then lay in it. She has found her comfort. This is Jessica Simpson 10. So this has notes of like white florals, jasmine, chocolate. Uh, I believe it has peach in it as well. It's not what you would think it is. So far, the ones that I mentioned have decent celiage. I feel like I always forget to mention that. Um, they do have decent celiage and they have good lasting power. This one is well, believe it or not, for a celebrity fragrance, lasts at least six hours on your skin. I've been able to get eight hour wear on it for sure, maybe even a little bit longer. But when you smell it up top, you just get this really beautiful, like light, 
florally citrus um, and as it dries down on your skin you get like this beautiful white chocolate scent which don't be afraid of white chocolate white chocolate's totally different than like tonka bean and cacao which can to me be like a little more of femme fatale like heavy vibes no this is like very light but it's still very noticeable this is a such such a underrated not talked about fragrance it's super classy it's the only celebrity fragrance i have in this um lineup and it's because it's really the only one that i find is actually truly like classy classy elegant vibes it's a very elegant bottle as well um i don't think it looks like a celebrity fragrance and it's wonderful all right so the next one is one that i um recently discovered as well and this is just to me like the epitome of class during the fall. I feel like this is like a classy woman, which she would wear during Christmas time or during Thanksgiving. And this is Eau de Merve by Hermes. And um, this has notes of amber. It has woody notes. It's a very close to your um, skin type fragrance. Sorry, I thought, I always think that this cast looks off. It doesn't. Oh my God, so good. Up on spray, you get like this brightness. But when it dries down on your skin, it's just pure amber and woods. A lot of people like this for, I think, the summer. But for me, like when it dries down, the amber note is just so profound. I feel like it's a better fall fragrance. Um, and on Sephora, they also recommend it for the fall. So Luba Medeve is just so beautiful, so classy. I feel like I could see a woman with like a beautiful pea coat and some boots, um, maybe some red lipstick. Like this is just very, very, very classy smelling. It's also close to your skin. So I feel like this is a good also like fragrance that maybe your husband would like or your boyfriend. Um, it smells very classy. It smells very good. It's very close to your skin. It doesn't have like a big projection or celiage. This is one that is more of a skin scent, but I think it's just super classy and elegant. And I also think it's a little bit sexy, but it's not that type of sexy where it like pushes the line of being too much of femme fatale and like missing that classy elegant vibe this is very elegant in my opinion and it's a nice one so the next one that i think okay so this one i feel it could be femme fatale but it could also be elegant sweet dark fantasy by layered fragrances this is a play on um killian's good girl gone bad which um is basically a really pretty white floral with some deep notes to it Mm, it's so nice. It's so nice. And when I re originally reviewed this, like as a first impression, the first thing I thought of was like a sexy wife. And I feel like people think that elegant and classy can't be attractive and sexy, but like to me, they can. And I feel like if someone was like a very, very, very attractive, a very attractive female, um, were to dress up elegance, like for example, Angelina Jolie in Mr. And Mrs. Smith type of, I think she would be wearing, um, Killian. Good Girl Gone Bad. Um, I have, of course, layered my Sweet Dark Fantasy, which basically smells exactly the same. It's so nice. Like, this is one, if you're trying to seduce your husband, <laughs> this is a good one to buy. Um, Killian is quite expensive. I think the full-size Killian bottle is like 230 US dollars. Um, you can get the layer fragrance for $62.99. Next one is one that I recently posted on the uh, Daily Brew Instagram page, and this is Anne ou Dimon Le Secret by Givenchy. So this is a beautiful tea scent. It's very lightly sweet. Um, it has a very beautiful, elegant vibe to it. It's not super heavy or super coying. You'll find that a lot of these fragrances that I'm saying are elegant are either um, really like beautiful, like light floral with some sweetness to it or some white chocolate, kind of like notes that aren't super deep and dark or they're florientals. Um, but anyway, this leans a little bit floriental, a tad, but for the most part, it's just a tea fragrance. And it's so nice. I wore this the other day. I got a compliment from so many different people. Um, this smells like pure elegance. And with the name, you would think it would be more femme fatale. No, I think the original Ange Eau de Mon from Givenchy is more, um, definitely, that one's like femme fatale, like stab you in the face with a heel. This is like... A beautiful angel angelic woman maybe in a white dress this would be also a good um, I think any one of these would be good 
brides or wedding day fragrances um, to feel very beautiful and elegant on your bridal day. This one I feel like it just smells beautiful and normally I don't like tea fragrances but this is one that's really really good, underrated and it smells divine. So the next one I feel is like one of my perfect elegant fragrances when I want to feel elegant and this is Bulgari um, Omnia Crystalline in a Parfum and this one has notes of lotus flower it's a little bit aquatic it's a little bit like earthy and musky um but it's not too green it's not pure musk like a narciso perfume would be it, it's just a little bit of everything and it ends up smelling really good this is nice when you don't want to wear a perfume and you just want to smell as if you smell delicious um for me because of the lotus in there i can totally tell that this is like I guess someone were wearing this if they're wearing a perfume. I think a lot of people, if you wear this, would think that you just naturally smell good. This is great for a lot of different situations. Um, I have gotten compliments on this before. I love this fragrance. It's literally one of my staples in my collection. I use it all the time. Um, and it's become literally probably one of my top 10 perfumes in my collection is this one. It's so versatile. I feel like it does good um, in the winter as well as in the spring and summer because it does have some musk to it and it has the aquatic notes and it's not so heavy that it would be like too much for the summer. Um, I do have to say though, if you get this, to get the Eda Parfum because Eda Toilette does not have like this creaminess to it. It's more bright and you get a lot more of the aquatic notes in the Lotus Flower. I think the Eda Parfum is much better. So if you get this, get the Eda Parfum. All right, so the next one, number three, is another one of my signature scents. And this, you guys, some people say it's overdone and it's there's too many, like, wannabes. But for me, honestly, there's nothing like it. I've tried some of the wannabes. There's nothing like it. And this is Dior J'adore. So Dior is literally one of my favorite fragrance houses. I honestly think that Dior, men and women, they just do fragrances well. I have a lot of Dior fragrances in my collection, and I... I've been wearing this for years. You guys, this is just a really beautiful white floral that's slightly sweet. It reminds me of champagne. Um, this smells like you have champagne taste. This is just like the high class, high profile woman, her everyday scent. She walks around smelling like this. A lot of people say that this can smell old. I don't get that at all. For me, like Chanel number no. five and cinema, they smell vintage and kind of like mature. This doesn't smell to me mature. This is very like, I think ageless. I think that a lot of really young women, even in their teens could wear Chador. I think that people in their 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s could wear Chador. I think Chador is just timeless and beautiful. Um, and I love it. I love it, love it, love it. It reminds me of a beautiful glass of sparkling, high quality champagne. And it's one of my favorite perfumes of all time. And it's super classy. So number two, is um by Elisab La Parfum. So this to me smells like someone's wedding day. It's just super duper classy. It's a floriental. It has some orange notes, um, some jasmines and some like deeper notes, but it's not too deep. It's not too oriental. It's not too light and floral and typical. Like you can't really pinpoint what it smells like. It also has like a beautiful, beautiful honey note in it. Like this fragrance if you have not tried it this is a must-have must-have in your collection and this is also one that I feel like you can wear anywhere and um, out of all of the fragrances I've mentioned besides good girl gone bad this one has the best longevity I'm talking like 10 hours just will last on your clothes and skin and it has really good projection you actually probably only need one or two sprays it's super strong like super strong I remember I sprayed myself for the first time with it I think I put like I am an oversprayer, so I put like five or six sprays. I really smelled like honey. Like it was very strong, so just a couple of sprays. But this is beautiful, elegant. It smells like your wedding day. All right, so the number one is probably no surprise. Um, and it's Mongolan. I think that Mongolan is just like the typical classy wifey perfume. I also really like Mongolan Sensual. That one has a little bit more of a vanilla and a tonka bean note to it. It's a little bit more deeper. I think it's also just as classy as this. It just depends on the vibes that you want. This is the Mongolan in a toilette. It has uh, lavender and vanilla as the main notes in it. For me, the um, in a toilette's a little bit brighter 
than the Eda Parfum. Eda Parfum is a little bit more, how can I say, like thicker, almost like syrupy. And then if you get the um, Munger Long Sensual, that one has a little bit even more vanilla, is a little bit even more deeper and still syrupy. Um, I prefer this one out of all of them. I also like the Sensual Eda Parfum. Smells just like this one. It's just a little bit thicker. Um, it's up to you. I like the Eau Toilette, especially for springtime. It just smells like a classy wipe. It's a little sweet, not too sweet. It's fresh. It's bright. It's beautiful. The lavender isn't how you would just expect it to be. Um, it mixes really well with the vanilla, and it's extremely feminine. This is, like, probably one of the most feminine fragrances that I own that smells like a woman. All right, guys, there you have it. Those are my favorites. Elegant and classy fragrances for women. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. Tell me what your favorite fragrances are for when you need to feel elegant, classy, sophisticated. Girl, tell me because I'm always wanting to try new fragrances. I would also really like it if you guys would subscribe to my channel. I have been checking my analytics and literally most of my viewers are not subscribed. So if you subscribe and hit the notification bell, you'll be notified of when I upload, which is usually two times a week. And um, hit the like button if you did like this video. It helps me um, by getting my video out there, helps with the YouTube algorithm. And it also helps you as a viewer because it will suggest more videos like mine to keep you entertained. I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless. Bye.